Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I broadcast out of the UK around the world and I've reached right into your homes and so thank you for accepting me and my humble program. If you like it, put the thumbs up. If you don't, put the thumbs down. You can share it, you can subscribe, whatever you do, I'm happy with that. Um, basically, um, I got sent a video. Well, it wasn't even a video this time. It was a news item. And it was about um, a teacher in Freeport, which is in Long Island, which for those of you who do not know, is in New York. A lovely island. But, and it has a school called John W. Dodd Middle School. Well, I'm not quite sure why the teacher was um, having a, talking about slavery in October. Um, in the UK, Black History Month is in October. And yes, we get reminded of slavery and it's on our TVs and we see roots and everything like that. In America, however... Black History Month is in February. So I'm not quite sure how it came about that she decided to set an assignment for the middle school, um, which are eight graders, um, to... For, she gave them captions of black and white slave, no, black and white photographs of slaves. And she said, be clever and creative with these photographs. And the young children interpreted that to mean make the slaves funny say funny things about the slaves give them funny titles um give them funny words to say what could they be saying that would be funny and be creative about it now the thing is is that when we see photographs of slaves there's always that person who's been branded from the top of his back to the bottom. They're either being hung from a tree. They're either being drawn and quartered. They're either in a field picking cotton or they're in the house serving um, their slave masters. So it is very difficult to find something funny to say about those situations. So how could... So in that assignment, which the teacher said was to stop her from being bored, maybe bored hearing the same story all the time, maybe bored and depressing, um, acknowledging the fact that slavery did exist. But for the children who saw that, they took it over and showed their grandmother and their grandmother, I think it was posted on the um, Facebook and it's gone viral. So I'm trying to think from the teacher's perspective, who was white, what could she think? Um, I think it's quite insensitive, but what could she be thinking? What could be going on in her mind when she sees slaves and says to the children, do something funny, make that funny, make, be creative about that. What can she be thinking? Is she thinking that, you know, either is she thinking that this is too bad, this is too depressing, I wonder if they can make, bring a positive out of it, or is she thinking that, you know, um, there has to be a lighter hearted way to view this situation? I'm not quite sure. I was thinking, if I was that, if I was that student, what would I find funny to put in the minds of a slave? And I thought, mm, wouldn't it be funny if the tables turned? Wouldn't it be funny if we um, turned into the slave masters and the slave masters became the enslaved? Wouldn't it be funny if we saw um, the slave masters hanging from a tree with their guts hanging out? Wouldn't it be funny if we took their husbands and wives and made them watch black men rape their wives and take away their children? Wouldn't that be funny? And I was trying to think, well, how could you make that funny? 
how could you make that situation funny? I mean, the woman has been reassigned to a different school. I'm not quite sure how that is going to improve the situation. I think she needs to be educated. She has to be educated in the severity of that history, especially when you think how that how black people were treated. Whether or not they were sold out by their own, it doesn't really matter how they got themselves in that situation. They could be saying, oh, wouldn't it be funny? How, you know, isn't it funny how black people were so gullible? Isn't it funny how they could be bought for beads? Isn't it funny how black people are gullible even now? Isn't that funny? You know, there are lots of different ways to think, okay, if the situation was reserved, if black people weren't so naive, wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny? It's funny how black people believe everything a white person tells them. Isn't that funny? Why, why is it that even now in Africa, black people will still believe what white people are telling them when they're trying to raid their countries and get gold? Isn't that funny how the government of Jamaica signed over the license to have the cockpit country dug up? Isn't it funny how they haven't learned their lessons? Isn't it funny how Africa is able to... Um, and allow the Chinese to install the belt, the belt road, the Silk Belt Road, to our Africa. That works to the, the Chinese benefit and not the Africans. Isn't that funny? It's funny how black people don't learn over the years. Isn't that funny? So, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this. All I'm wondering is... You know, that assignment, what was going on in her mind when she wanted the children to be creative about slavery? Was she challenging them to find another way of looking at it? I have no idea. Anyway, um, I think I have covered everything and I am not going to belabor the point. Your comments would be appreciated. Bye bye.